guys and welcome back to our channel. I am Coldfire. And I am Kit. And we've been away for a while and we've just been caught up with this and that and, you know, cold weather. But today we're going to be reacting to a very, um, hidden, another hidden gem by Madonna. Um, we just reacted to one from her very early, you know early career before you, she... you you have been finding all these gems you think we'd be rich by now I know, we, so uh, we just we're reacted going, to... we're going to react to Madonna you are the one this was supposed to be on her erotica album we've had other reactions to some other stuff so check it out until then we'll always put anything Madonna on Madonna playlist so if, if you think that we've skipped a song or something because we are doing a journey, we're not trying to skip, but we might go back if we find something that was supposed to be on one of the albums that we reacted to, and then we'll react to that. Yeah, they'll figure um, it out. But anyways, no matter what period it is, Madonna was always great. But for some reason, this was, um, it says final demo. I'm guessing they probably did many takes of it, and this was the final demo of it, and then it's... It just well, got left off the album. Let's listen to it. But let's see if it falls in the line of erotica sound. Oh, yeah. A lot of bass. sound but I also hear a lot of the deeper and deeper where she goes dun, 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 dun. I know and there's that, a lot of bass in this one yeah there's a lot of bass and she's she's very low on this mm -hmm. one she is
pretty good song. <clears throat> um, other than the, so like somebody was scratching with a pen, mm -hmm. and then there was some other electronica thing in there. And I noticed that that wasn't in most of the songs in Erotica. Maybe right. that's why they didn't put it on there. No. Or maybe they honestly, just... I think the reason why was this the sound. In my opinion, the sound yes sounded like the the music sounded like the Erotica album. Yeah. Like but the three. song more represented her earlier bubblegum <laughs> pop. Correct. And I mean. And, and maybe I, I, maybe the. I know. I'm gonna lyrics. say I heard, exactly. I heard the. Same, uh, what is it called when you say, you know, like on this one, you are the one, and then it's the the, the verses that are going that go on after it. Uh, what do you call that little Repetition? section? Repetition, where it keeps repeating. Yeah, it, it was the same. But that was very big back then. Yeah, I know, but but it, it, it was the same one. It must have played at least five or six times throughout the song. But remember, on the but, Erotica album, she did do a lot of songs where she repeated the. I, because it was a. I, mean, um, they, I know they do that today. I get it. Doesn't mean I like it. But yeah, but that that's know. what could, that's what separates uh, a dance artist from a pop artist. But I'm just, she's a pop artist, of course. But she's made more number one well, hits in them. the dance field. You were asking me. I was yeah. Oh, me. I know. So I I just felt like there was a little bit of scratching. Like this was more made. This would have been better suited when they released the Erotica album. And of course, at the time, it, they say it wasn't doing that well. But this could have been a good single release yeah. in the clubs. So. You know, especially mm. with that heavy bass. And yeah, just eliminate the, the lyrics. Yeah. Um, but, but I don't the, know. I just, I didn't, I wasn't. I mean, I liked the lyrics at the beginning. And then when I just started overhearing it over and over and over again, I was like, okay, how many times can you repeat it just to stretch it out? To well, when minutes? you're sitting here reacting to a video and it's a dancey type video, and especially if it's repetitive, I mean, I it's going it. to sound kind of, kind of boring I compared to, it. like, say you're out out at a bar and you're having a drink or two and you're dancing. Well, you want it to go I on get and it. on. I get it being at a bar because chances are you're not going to hear what she's saying. Um, That's what I'm saying. But, it's more of a background. No, and I understand that. I'm just, I'm just saying. I just. It's kind of like a you are uh, because you know I how was, some people get to sing it along. I'm giving you my opinion. I know. I was just saying, you know, sometimes when people get to clubs, so they like to hear that repetition so they can sing it, and while they're drunk off their asses, keep repeating mm. it. So they don't know when a song ends and yeah. when another one begins. No. I've been there. Nowadays. <laughs> but anyways. Nowadays, all the music of the club sound like anyways. I do. So, but anywho. I went to um, the recent um, gay club here. And we only have one, unfortunately, which is dying out because of social media. No, I'm sorry to say it's social media no, because it's dying out because the the music sucks. Well, well, not only that is, um, you can you can attest to this. I'm not bragging when I say I'm a very good dancer. You were. Oh, I can still get out there if I if I need to. I might pull my knee again or twist the That's hip. That's why you're not going to do it. But I can get out there and dance. And I remember two times going out that we went out in the last year. And I went up to the DJ because everyone was sitting around and they were just doing this. And I said, so I said, let me go ask the DJ to play some real music so I can get out there because I want to dance. So I asked him to play Vogue. Of course, he played up there mixing his things. He was playing Vogue, but he was playing it with a techno song that had no beat that would even rhyme or reason go with the song. And you're up there and you're trying to hear the the beat the beat of the Vogue, so you could do the hand poses and everything. And I and I did the best I could just by memory, just remembering how she done it and did it that way. And then the second time, I asked him to play Express Yourself, and he played Live to Tell, and he played it with some kind of, it was a rap song or something. And I'm like, this is a sacred song. 
Live to Tell was a sacred song by Madonna. And to mix but, it with, you know... Anywho. Anyways. But that's the point of the story. Bring back the real music. Fill the clubs back up with Madonna and Kylie Minogue and artists that could actually get Sing. your ass out on the floor and dance. You know what I'm talking about? That's yeah, all I got there, to say there, about that. There was a few times I'd go and dance, even though I can't dance worth shit. But I'd go out there and pretend to dance. Yeah. But that's because I like the song. Yeah. But if I don't like the song, I ain't, mm -mm, no. Yeah, I'd, but don't you I'd like to go into drinking. a bar and actually hear good music and see people actually dancing their asses off and having mm -hmm. a good time? As opposed to them just sitting there like in a, like huddled up in a, and like they're talking. Some of them were even out there just talking. Mm -hmm. And some of them were just bouncing. But they were on the dance floor and I'm like, okay, you can get off the dance floor and go to the bar and do that. That's what the bar's for. But anyways. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, um, rare song, um, at least to us. I hope it was to you and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, you are the one. Final demo by Madonna, and like I said, it um it has the scribbly like from the Madonna album that um was supposed to represent Spiderweb. So, without further ado, Bye. we'll see you on the next reaction. Love you guys. Bye bye.